in everyday life, we see some objects at rest and others in motion. Birds fly, fish swim, blood flows through veins and arteries and cars move. All these have motion. Hello children, I am Bindu. Today I am going to teach you about the graph of motion of physical science of class 8. Learning outcomes. Motion. Motion along a straight line. Uniform motion, non-uniform motion, average speed, unit of average speed, Graphical representation of uniform motion. Difference between map and graph. Graphs of objects moving at different uniform speed. Keywords Motion Straight line Uniform motion Non-uniform motion Average speed Graph Map Atoms, molecules, planets, stars and galaxies are all in motion. An object may appear to be moving for one person and stationary for some other. For the passengers in a moving bus, the roadside trees appear to be moving backward. A person standing on the roadside perceives the bus along with the passengers as moving. However, a passenger inside the bus sees his fellow passengers at rest. Most motions are complex. Some objects may move in a straight line, others may take a circular path. Some may rotate and few others may vibrate. There may be a situations involving a combination of these. In this part, we shall first learn to describe the motion of an object along a straight line. Motion 
motion is nothing but the location of an object by specifying a reference point. Let's understand by an interesting example. Let's assume that your school is 2 kilometers north of the rail station. This is the position of the school with respect to the rail station. Here, the rail station is the reference point. It is important to specify a reference point to describe the position of an object. This point is called the origin. The simplest type of motion is the motion along a straight line. Let's understand with an example. Consider the motion of an object moving along a straight path. The object, like car, starts its journey from O, which is treated as its reference point. Let A B and C represent the position of the object at different instant. At first, the object moves through C and B and reaches A. Then it moves back along the same path and reaches C through B. The total path length covered by the object is OA plus AC that is 60 kilometers plus 35 kilometers is equal to 95 kilometers. This is the distance covered by the object. Uniform motion An object moving along a straight line. Let it travel 20 meters in the first second. 20 meters more in the next second. 20 meters in the third second and 20 meters in the fourth second and so on. In this case, the object covers 20 meters in each second. As the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. It is said to be in uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across motions where objects cover unequal distances in equal intervals of time. For example, when a car is moving on a crowded street or a person is jogging in a park, these are some instances of non-uniform motion. Average speed Different objects may take 
different amounts of time to cover a given distance. Some of them move fast and some move slowly. The rate at which objects move can be different. Also, different objects can move at the same rate. Let's assume a car is moving. Through this car's motion, we'll understand average speed. Look at the screen. There is a car. In the first 10 seconds, it covers 200 meters. To cover the next 500 meters, takes 15 seconds. The last 300 meters are covered by the next 25 seconds. So, we can say for the calculation of average speed, we need two factors. The total distance covered by car which is 200 plus, 500 plus, 300 meters equal to 1000 meters divided by total time is equal to 10 plus, 15 plus, 25 seconds or 50 seconds. So, the average speed is, in this case, 20 meters. Unit of average speed. Average speed is the distance covered by the time taken. The unit of distance is a meter and the unit of time is second. So, the unit of average speed is a meter per second. If we measure the distance in kilometers and the time in an hour, the unit of average speed will be kilometer per hour or kmph. Today, we are talking about a sweet little girl, Swati, who is coming from school and the details of her journey are given. This data tells us that every two minutes, how much path is covered by little Swati? But we don't know how far she walked at a given time for her journey. It cannot give us the distance between her home to school. So, we need to present data in this type of table. To plot the data, we need to draw two axes X and Y, vertical and horizontal. The X axis is denoted as time in minutes and the y-axis is denoted as distance covered. After plotting all the points shown on the screen, we can get this graph. A graph is not a map. 
this is a map. Actually, map shows us the location and the feasible way to reach there. But it cannot give us information like distance, speed and time to reach there. From the graph, we get all this information. If you watch the graph properly, you can get the information that every 2 minutes, Swati covers 120 meters distance. If an object covers an equal distance in an equal time interval, it is said to be in uniform motion. The speed of travelling with the uniform motion does not change. In such cases, speed and average speed are the same. Children, how can you understand from any graph that it is for uniform velocity? Look at this graph and think whether it is for uniform motion or not. Think, think, think about it. Look the lines are straight line. Any graph of uniform motion will be a straight line. So, one thing can come to your mind, what is this graph? Who is Hitesh and Anish? Why their names have been written in graph? Well, every graph has a story. Let's go for the story. Anish and Hitesh are two little boys. They are coming from the school at different speeds but with uniform velocities. This means that every one minute Anish is going 60 meters while Hitesh is going 120 meters. After plotting all points, we shall get these two. You can see that one is for Hitesh and another is for Anish. In graph in which a straight line has more slope, he has more speed. So, the average speed of Hitesh is more than that of Anish. Summary of lesson. Motion is nothing but the location of an object by specifying a reference point. The motion of the objects may be in a straight line or a circular path. If the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, 
it is said to be in uniform motion. In non-uniform motion, an object covers an unequal distance in an equal interval of time. Average speed is the rate of distance covered in unit time. A graph is not a map. After plotting all points, we shall get these two. You can see that one is for Hitesh and another is for Anish. In graph, in which a straight line has more slope, he has more speed. The slope is nothing but the angle of a line with the x-axis. So, the average speed of Hitesh is more than that of Anish.